I S U P K. Hey, slow, man. This is Priest Kevin the Dome Hall with the I S U P K. On the Command of Journey Island in California, man. To all blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. Subscribe to this channel, man. You want true salvation? You're going to learn from the priests and prophets of the I S U P K, man. Subscribe to that channel. Hit that button, man. And it's there with that. Run. Shalom, D.C. with Israel School University of Practical Knowledge out of 1 West, 125th Street, home New York, under Commander General Yohanna. Since 1969, we've been teaching that blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are the real Jews, according to the Bible, and that the oppressor is the, is the devil that the Bible speaks of. That's right. There is only one people on the face of the earth that the, that the Most High is for. Only one people. How you doing that, man? The scripture proves it. The scripture proves it. And I'm going to bring out scripture after scripture of, say, of, of showing you that his word, he's saying that he only wants one people and he doesn't care about anybody else. He only cares for one people. The Israelites, the true Jews of the Bible. We're going to get that first scripture, which he tells you in plain English, no, not, not being disputed of how he loves one people and no one else. Book of Deuteronomy 7, verse 6. For thou art a holy people. He said, you are a holy people. First of all, in Deuteronomy, he's, he's talking to the children of Israel. The children of Israel, if anybody knows anything about scripture, in Deuteronomy, the children of Israel were in captivity. After we were in captivity in Egypt, the Most High brought them out of Egypt, and here he's talking to them right now. He's saying, thou art a holy people. Read from the top, and we come. For thou art an holy people. Thou art an holy people, which means separate. He's saying, you, Israel, you are separate. Separate away from everybody else. Unto the Lord. For thou art an holy people. Unto the Lord thy God. You are a separate people unto the Lord thy God. You are close to him. You are to be with him. Do what he says. Do what he does. He's telling you to do, you are separate unto him. Not like these other nations. The Lord, thy God, hath chosen thee. He chose you. He chose you out of all the nations on the earth. He chose you. He chose you to be separate. To be separate. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people. To be a special people. Even though we are, we, we flood the, 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 the hood, we flood the barrios and the reservations, we still, they, they still come to us for everything that, that, that there is. We are the ones that built this, this kingdom. Right now you have, you have uh, our, our, our so-called Hispanic brothers picking your fruit picking your vegetables. If it wasn't for our Hispanic brothers and sisters, all your fruits and vegetables will be $20 and $30 a piece. Because of them is the reason why we, we make this place run. The Native Americans, this was their land. They, they had it flourish, flourishing. Now we can't even drink the water. Everything is polluted. Ever since, ever since the oppressor came over here, he destroyed everything. Chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people. Above what? All people. He said he chosen you to be a special people. 
above everybody, above all people. There is no mention of words to that. He chose one group of people, blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. We are, because of the oppressor, we think we are separate people. We are all one people. And he chose us to be a special people above everybody. It says all people. Not just a small group of people, not just against this country or that country. He says above all people. What? Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. That are upon the face of the earth. How can you deny that? There is no denying that. He's saying you, black man, Native American man, Hispanic man, are above all people that are upon the face of the earth. But these so-called oppressors teaching us that we are nothing. We are nothing, we, we, ain't not, we ain't up to no good. They call the, our Hispanic brothers a bunch of rapists and murderers. He said we're nothing. They said we're nothing, but they are nothing. The Most High said it, says it right here, and he's, he's going to say it again and again and again. He says we are special above all. So read that part again. I don't come. A special people unto himself above all people. Special people unto himself. He's not going to just just get a, a bunch of uh, people who are uh, stuck on drugs, who are selling themselves who are selling their sisters, who's, who's, who's selling their babies for a hit, to be special about, uh, unto himself. He's not, that's, that's not what he's saying. He's, he's saying you are better than what your true, what your current condition is. You are better than what the oppressor tells you you are. He says you are special unto him. Special unto him what? Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. That are upon the face of the earth. There is no denying that. Let me get the apocryphal. Give me a second, there's a 16. He says we are above all people that are upon the face of the earth. There is no denying that. No denying that. How can you, how can you read that and say, well, oh, uh, God loves everybody now. But I thought the, I thought the, the scripture says his, his word is the truth. It is never changing, it's everlasting. If he said it then once, he is not going to change his mind, go back on his word. He believed it then, and even we, though we are in this, this troubled condition right now, he believes it right now. We are above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Everybody. That's, that's not equality, that's supremacy. And the people that are on top don't want you to know this because you're going to start acting like you are above them. You're going to start coming back to his laws, his rules. He's, he's going he's gonna to make you a, we are already a bunch of nations of, of kings and priests. The oppressor, following the most high laws is, gonna, is what separates us from the heathens. That's the truth. That was the truth back then, and it's the truth right now. There is nothing that's going to change that. God's word is eternal. If he says it, so be it. That's it. The second book of Ezra, 6 verse 54. And after these, and after these, Adam also, whom thou, whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures. After these, Adam who made Lord of all thy creatures. We all know Adam. Well, most of us know the story of Adam and Eve. The true story of Adam and Eve is Adam and Eve was not the first people on the face of the earth. Adam was the first person that the Most High woke up that the first high chose because he was special. Most high knew that this, this man was, was going to be the father of us all. He said, we all know that what? Adam also whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures. He said, most high made Adam Lord of all thy creatures. He was, Lord, he was in charge of everything. Everything, he was in charge of everything. Why? Because the most high made him that way. Of him come ye all. We all come from Adam. There's a reason, there's a specific reason why we all come from Adam. We all come from Adam, but there is a difference between us between us all. And the creatures of him come we all, and the people also whom thou hast chosen. So he says, we even though we all come from Adam, he's chosen a special people that we all came from. There's only one group of people that he's talking about. Keep reading. All this have I spoken before thee. Like I said, if he said it back then, it holds true today. 
O oh Lord, because thou madest the world for our sake. What is say that part again? O oh Lord, O oh Lord, for thou hast thou hast made it the world for our sake. He said, O oh Lord, that thou hast made the world for our sake. We are a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. The Most High made this earth for us. Even though we're at the bottom, we're watching the, the oppressor's kids. We're, we're, we're cleaning up after their, the oppressor's old folks before we can, help, we can help ourselves. He said, we, he made this world for us. Even though we're, we are in this condition, he did, not make, he did not want us to be in this condition. This world was meant for us. Read that part again. All this have I spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou madest the world for our sake. Thou madest the world for our sakes. Keep going. As for the other people, and as for the other people, even though he made the world for our sakes, blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, he made it for our sakes. He has, he has a place for the other people. He's about to get into it right now. Which also come of Adam. We also, he, everybody else also come from Adam. He said the world's made for our sakes. As for the other people that came from Adam, what? Thou hast said that they are nothing. That they are what? Nothing. I thought we were all equal. Nothing. He said they are nothing. Nothing. He made the world for us and as for the other people, they are what? Nothing. That's right. But be, but, but be, but be like unto Hold spirit. on, hold on, hold on. He said they are nothing but, but he's going to describe them. What are they like? Be like unto spittle. Be like unto spittle. He called every other nation who is not the so-called blacks, so-called Hispanics, so-called Native Americans. He said they are like spit. Who cares about spit? The only time you care about spit is if someone's talking or if someone's disrespecting you and they spit in your face. That's the only time you care about it. Any other time is nothing. You get sick, you gotta hawk something up. You spit it out on the ground, it's, it's some kind of slimy or, or slick thing. You see that? That's what the Most High thinks of every other nation. That little, that piece of spittle that's on the ground that you walk around. That is what the Most High thinks of every other nation. Read that from the top. As for the other people, which also come of Adam, thou hast said, that they are nothing but be like unto spittle, and has likened the abundance of them unto a drop that falleth from a vessel. He says the whole entire world that is not black, Hispanics, and Native Americans is like a drop that fall from a bucket. If we carry around a bucket of water, or, or even if we have a bottle of water, we have a bottle of water, it's hot out here, we have a cold bottle of water, that bottle sweats. When it sweats, we, we, we drink it from the bottle. That's, that's, no, that's no problem, but when it sweats and that drop falls from the, from the side of the, of, the, of the bottle, we ain't worried about it. That's nothing. That's how the Most High thinks of every other nation out here. Right. He thinks of them as a, as a drop from a bucket or the sweat from, from beside the, uh, the, the bottle. That's, right. that's nothing. We, we care. He cares nothing about them, so we should, we should feel the same exact way. They are nothing. The world, the Most High has made this world for every black, Hispanic, and Native American. This world was supposed to be ours. Ours. There is no equality. No equality in the Bible. The Most High said He's only come for one people. That's it. That's it. Give me Psalms 147 and 19. Right here. From here, He says, The other nations are like unto spittle. Spittle. And then the, the, the abundance of them are like a, a, a drop that drops from a vessel. If you know anything, you know that is nothing. You shouldn't care about them. You should take your love from them, from, from the spittle or the drop of bucket, and put it on your own people. That's what we should do. That's how we, that's how we can come together and be strong. That's the only way a black life would matter, is if we take our love from them and put it on the Most High. The Most High showed us through Christ, how to be a true brother to our people. That's right. He is the leader of our kingdom, and he taught us exactly how to be like that. And he didn't, when, he, when Christ was walking the earth, he, he wasn't going around saying kumbaya, holding hands, 
speaking, I have a dream about equality, he told him, he told him if anybody wouldn't rule for me, who doesn't want me to rule over them, come here and let me slay them, or slay them before me. He wasn't talking about equality. He was talking about supremacy. And I'm gonna get a little bit more on this. Book of Psalms, 147, verse 19. He showeth his word unto Jacob. He showeth his word unto Jacob. If anybody knows anything about scripture, let me bring you back a little bit. Jacob, his name was changed from Jacob to Israel. Israel, Jacob is the forefathers of every black Hispanic and Native American. He said he showed his word. This is his word right here. He showed his word unto Jacob. And his, <clears throat> his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. He showed his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgment unto Israel. Same people. He's only talking about one people. He showed us the way. He showed us how to conduct ourselves. He showed us how to be right. He showed us how to be on top. All we had to do was follow it. We will be on top. And, uh, and here's the thing. Once we start following it, we will be on top overnight. It will be an overnight thing. All we got to do is come together, follow this word under commanding General Yohannes. We will be on top. Keep going. He had not dealt so with any nation. He had not dealt so with any nation. I've been saying this all along. The Most High only loves one people. He only loves one people. And he's saying it over and over again. He said he made the Israelites, he said he made the, the Israelites are separate unto him. He said the other nations are like spittle and are likened unto a drop out of the bucket. He said he only dealt with us, no other nation. He have not dealt so with any nation, and as far as his judgments, they have not known them. And as far as his judgments, as far as his judgments, they have not known them. He's not talking about anybody else. He's only, he only cares about the Israelites. That's it. Your, your pastor is lying to you, he's always been lying to you. The reason why he's lying to you, because Either one, he doesn't know any better, which you shouldn't even be following, someone who doesn't know anything about anything. And two, he learned that from the slave master. Of course he's gonna tell you, the slave, that you should love him. And he loves everybody. Meanwhile, he has his knee on your neck while you begging to breathe. And then when you're trying to move, trying to get this dude off your neck, you're resisting arrest. What kind of nonsense is that? Trying to find something to follow Had loyalty, every man tried to borrow Felt pain, and a lot of sorrow Got betrayed, so packed, I didn't even have my heart broke Living confused, about to lose hope Cops got me on the side of the road Like a sideshow, need an antidote before I croak Now I'm setting fire to rhythm man blues Call this guitar smoke Rebel with no cause, trying to find direction The world got me vexed Picked up a bad lick of habit that's hereditary from oppression Felt like my life was on fire trying to find an exit Now look, 10 G's plus a good wreck Sometimes a follower is a soldier Trying to find a good ship Plus when you in hell, how do you excel? Wisdom the breath of life, I don't believe in fairy tale. Listen well to what I tell No call it can cause pain Something that a rebel knows very well can't you tell I was sent from the Lord? Got a tongue like a two-edged sword.